Welcome back to Two Minute Drill. Today we're talking about cutting and pasting. Okay, I got a, a set here, opening set for a band I'm working with right now, and I need to start to paste these guys together. If you select the first dot and then the second dot, it gives you the option uh, to find the next performer. Okay, so if you didn't know about that, you just find the next performer. It'll probably go to the one that's nearest. You gotta be careful though, because it will go over to the wrong person, and you can undo it, undo glue. Okay, and then you can kind of get it back on the right track. Okay, so say I want that U part just be its own element, good. Click the end, now you're done. Now you gotta start with this bit on the E. Okay, and find next, and see how it messed up. Okay, so get it back on the right track, and then find next. So this is how you can glue together, um, you know, kind of elaborate forms. So now what you notice about the glue and paste tool is that uh, the end of the form will be red and the beginning of the form will be green. So if you're going to design a page of drill next, you'll want to design this from right to left so that people will go to the right dots and, or else you'll have to hit flip or you'll have to clear it and tell it where to go, um, that sort of thing. Okay, This comes in handy when you're rewriting drill is to have all your your people glued and paste together correctly because it'll help uh, in the editing process. All right, so say on the next page you wanted to make this N into something, into some sort of form. You could always group this differently from left to right so that the green is on the left side. You could flip the grouping order. And now that makes the green on the left side. Say you wanted every other person on the next page to pull out of here. You could regroup them by applying a pattern. A, B, apply pattern. It will regroup all performers in the selected shape using an A, B pattern. Yes, except now you've easily got every other person selected in the form. And if you still don't like that, you can regroup all uh, and then just do it again yourself if you want it to be uh, back how it is. Group to end, uh, it comes close. Uh, you can always use group to end and then just go back if it makes a mistake. See if it'll work now. There you go. Group to end is pretty good if, if again, you have a nice smooth shape. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like it, like and subscribe to my channel.